What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and as you guys can see on the screen right here I have my Phantasm Spiral build that I did a few weeks ago I did this post ban list because of course Skill Drain just came back to 3 And I was thinking like hey that profile did really well, people seem to be interested, but I wanted to show you guys how to play the deck kind of. So today we're on EDO Pro, we're gonna go online and test out Phantasm Spiral so you guys can see exactly how this deck plays out. Now if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I know this is kind of like a different intro, I don't usually intro with the stuff in the background already. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys, this is a deck list if you guys haven't seen it already. I'll also link the deck list at the top of the description if you guys wanna check that out. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it because I'm excited for this one a little longer than a few minutes later all right i also just want to say just before we get into this duel over here which we won the die roll which is actually really nice or the rock paper scissors but i do want to say this real quick is that don't expect this deck to like combo super hard but like look at this opening hand just right away you guys can see how crazy this deck really is like opening hands like this it's going to be very hard for your opponent i'm not even going to use the upstart here i don't even think we need it to be honest because we're going to start off our turn with a with a pacifist a megalo smasher we have a skill drain, but goes in match. Like, this is going to be very, very difficult for a parent opponent to play through this. Like, it's very simplistic gameplay, but it's, like, really, really powerful, to be honest with you. So here, we're going to have a normal monster. So I guess maybe we should just get the spiral battle just to pop a card. Or should we get the power here for the effect negation? Uh, we don't need the effect negation. Let's get the spiral battle here. I don't want to upstart because I don't even think we need it. But let's just upstart anyways. See what we draw into. Oh, uh, we drew into another skill drain. Okay, this is even better, actually, because... What that means is we are for sure guaranteed skill drain to go off. This can actually activate from our hand because uh, we have Umi on the field and we have a normal monster. So I think I'm going to keep this in hand just in case he has any back row removal and we're just going to pass the turn off here. I don't think this is going to be very difficult to play through. I know it seems very basic, but it's going to be very difficult to play through. I'm not going to flip anything just yet. I'm going to wait for something to happen before. Bujin can Oh, I don't remember anything what Bujins do, to be honest with you. I mean, this protects his Bujin monster from card effect this turn, which kind of sucks because we can't use our spiral battle, but that's fine. I'll just let that play through. That's not a big problem. He activated a card, so we do get Pacifist, which is kind of nice here. Put a 2,000 beater token. It's 2,000 attack. Like that's pretty strong if you ask me here actually we already have more effect negation and these are not once per turn it's funny enough so we're gonna go spiral battle again here we're good here like i'm telling you like this is how the deck plays it's really slow but i don't think and i don't really see our opponent playing through much like we have a go goes and actually doesn't do that much against bujin they're all light funny enough i think here we're just gonna actually activate our skill drain right away so we can't activate the effect here this is going to protect the Bujin cards from card effects, so we're actually not going to use the Spiral Battle just yet. Oh, this tributes us cost. Okay, okay, my bad. Misplay, my bad. But uh, I think we're still good here, because no matter what he summons, he's going to have a hard time playing through this. His Ixies monsters won't really do anything with skill drain up, to be honest. I'm pretty sure all the Ixies monsters are light, but just in case, I'm going to flip the Gozen match, because I don't know Bujins that well. So I don't know if they have any dark or anything extra in their extra deck. So we're going to flip the Goza match here. If you guys know, are asking why I'm holding the Spiral Battle, it's because Bujin cards actually can't be destroyed by card effects. Or Bujin monsters, I should say, can't be destroyed by card effects because of Bujin Ken Descents. We're just going to let it go through. I mean, we could potentially use one Spiral Battle to pop the back row and then the other Spiral Battle on the Susanoo. Hmm, could we do that? That's fine. I'll take the damage here. Play it slow. Guys, the thing is, you really don't have to rush anything with this deck, so it's not a big problem when like you lose a monster like that. Again, the, something like Pacifist is going to keep getting you tokens, you're in a good spot, okay? So we're just going to hold. We have another Megalo Smasher, we're in a good position. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually activate the Spiral Battle, pop the Mujin Candescence, okay? We're actually good here. We can actually get rid of the Susanoo, which is really strong. This is actually really powerful. Then we can actually normal summon our Megalo Smasher X. Very slow gameplay, as you guys can see, but very effective, okay? So he's going to Torrential, okay. That's not horrible. I mean, sure. We're gonna actually add, because he used the Torrential here. Yeah, we'll just add another Spiral Battle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, because he used the Torrential, we can actually use this now to actually get another token, which is really powerful. So now we're just gonna go into Battle Phase. And we're just gonna slowly beat down our opponent here. Like, there's not much he can do, to be honest. There we go. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like, so you guys might see like, hey, there's not so crazy combos, there's not some crazy way to play through this, but really a skill drain, a Goza match. Okay, Goza match in this matchup specifically didn't do much, but it, this deck really does ha do a really good job of controlling the game state. You keep getting monsters with your Pacifist, as you guys can see, we played through Torrential really easily. We have Spiral, which just clears boards left, right, and center. And honestly, maybe I could have searched an Equip spell instead of this third Spiral, but regardless, I mean, look at that. 
right? Opponent has to scoop it up. Maybe we'll do one more. I'm pretty sure that was a kind of short duel. We might do one more duel here. All right, let me just say these friggin' wait times are so, so long. Here, we're gonna go first again. We actually ended up winning the die roll, which is nice. This is actually a pretty good hand. I won't lie. The sea stealth attack is actually really powerful because you guys will see that the token that you summon actually can't be destroyed by battle. If anything, the opponent's monster who attacks into it will get destroyed. So this card is actually insanely powerful. Let's start things off with the extrav though. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he has a hand trap here. I don't really care about extrav going. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, and we have the strike. Okay, this is actually really strong. We'll start off here by activating the pacifist or we'll normal the smash megalo smasher we already have a spiral battle we don't have a skill drain however so because we don't have a skill drain we'll actually get the power here if you guys don't know powers like an impermanence and monster negate just because we don't have the skill drain come on bro i just want to show youtube how this deck plays all right so we've been waiting in this queue for way too long let's see if we can just uh i think he's gonna go scissors i knew it i knew it i knew it so let's see if we can play this one out, get a quick dub here and show you guys how powerful this deck can really be. I mean, here this hand's okay. It's a lot better with a... Okay, well, we can't actually use Extravagance here, which is very unlucky. But what we can do... I mean, this is good for next turn, but we're going to set two strikes and hope that two strikes is enough to save us because next turn we have the Extravagance. And again, this is kind of like the thing where I said, like, again, at the end of the day, it's a rogue deck, but you really need to see a monster. As soon as you see a monster, you're in a good spot, but when you don't see a monster, it is kind of, kind of scary. So here, this is actually fine. He can do whatever he wants here, because as soon as he makes his first Ixies monster, we can actually just strike the Ixies monster summon itself. And that's not a problem. I'm pretty sure this just lets you summon another infinite track monster. So that's fine. As soon as he summons whatever he wants to summon here, we're just going to negate the summon. We're just going to strike this right away, honestly, because as soon as we strike this, he's kind of in a really weird position. He already used, I believe the Express Knight is a normal summon, right? Yeah, you can normal summon this card without tributing. So he doesn't have any more normal summons. I'm not sure exactly where he can go from here. So here we're actually in a really, really good spot. Oh, we're even in a better spot, actually, because here we actually activate our Extravagance. We go for six. We have our Megalo Smasher. As long as we see like a Pacifist or something like that, we're perfectly fine. Okay, so here... We're just going to deck thin. We, I mean, we drew into skill drain. What this does actually really well for us is is that it gets our power and our spiral battle live. So we're just going to normal summon our Megalo Smasher X here. We're going to go into battle phase. He's playing a deck that's really like reliant on the monster effects. So what this does actually for us with skill drain is he's not going to be able to play through any of this. So the question here is, do I let this go through or do I just stop it? I'm going to stop it just because... I feel like this gets an extra body for him on the board. It's actually pretty big too. So we're just going to strike that. doesn't really matter. We're going to go straight into battle. He's at 7k. And this is literally <laughs> noob cards. Don't kill me. The guy called me a noob because I'm playing Solemn Strike. Anyways, we're fine here. Because now we have all our traps live. We have our battle and our power live. We have our skill drain live. Watch. I, I guarantee he's going to scoop as soon as he sees the skill drain. I'm actually going to let this go through. Let's see what he does first before I flip the skill drain. Because at the moment, this doesn't really do anything for him. So that's fine. Their special schedule is fine. He can special summon that. That's okay. Honestly, here's what we're going to do. I guarantee he's going to really want to go into a rank 10 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spiral battle and pop one of these. I'm going to hold the skill drain. I don't want to I don't want to shotgun the skill drain just yet. I really want him to commit to something before I skill drain him. I mean, look, he's still calling me a noob and he surrendered. I didn't even flip the skill drain. Do you see what I mean? Like this deck is very, very, it's, it's a slow paced deck, but it's very, very fun. So guys, honestly, this video took a lot longer than I expected to film just because the queue times were so long. And every time I did get an opponent, they just straight up quit when I activated anything. But I wanted to show you guys how this deck can be played in today's format and how the hands kind of can look like when you're playing just random games, right? So obviously not every hand was the most optimal hand. But again, I showed you how even with the not optimal hands, you can still win and you can still perform with this deck. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Again, here is the deck profile if you guys want a more in-depth explanation i'll put a link at the top of the description of the deck profile video itself and that's really all i gotta say i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace